what's going on. So I'm coming to you in my, I, I love the black and white, the whole black and white thing. It just reminds me so much of old school. But I wrote something. It's called I'll Wait. I don't mind, I don't mind waiting. And here's a story about on one occasion while, while he was eating, Jesus Christ, um, eating with them, he gave them a command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift for the Father has promised, which have you have heard me speak about in Acts 1, 1, 4. Also, it's also in Luke 24, verse 49. I am sending you what the Father has promised, but wait into the city until you have been clothed with the Spirit, Holy Spirit, who fills you with the power from heaven. So around 500 people in Acts was told by Jesus to wait on the promise of the Holy Spirit, the gift from God, but only a few hundred of them stayed. So that means that they had something better to do. On, then waiting on God's blessing. Wait and waited is in the Bible 141 times. Um, Lamentations 3 verse 25, the Lord is, is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. Psalms 37 verse 7, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in he or she wait in he or she way, the man who carries out evil devices. So God is telling us the key to the blessings that we seek is wait, patience. And I think that if we understand that, you know, just because our neighbor or our friend or our family is living a good life and they're not a believer, that they're happy. No, that's 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 not true. You can't look at celebrities and and think that because they have what what you want that they're happy. Most of them are not happy. Many of them commit suicide. But if you wait on the Lord, he will prosper you. The Bible says, seek he the kingdom of God and all will be given to you. And what that means is all that's in his will for your life will be given to you. Because remember, everything that God gives you has to have a purpose to glorify him. So if you're waiting on that husband or that wife, if that person will not glorify God and bring you closer to him, then you're not going to get it. You're going to keep continuously waiting until God has that person available for you. You guys have a good one.